Hi, Joyce Sidman here, and thank you so much for joining me to explore my new book, Hello Earth, Poems to Our Planet. I have the best job in the world, which is writing books for readers like you. And I especially love poetry because it packs so many thoughts and feelings into just a few words. This is the cover of my new book, and I would like to tell you that the illustrations were done by a wonderful artist named Mirren Asien Laura. Notice that she's painted a group of people and animals up here on top of the earth, and I especially love this giraffe here. There's also someone climbing up the side of the earth. One thing I love about Mirren's illustrations is that there are so many children on every page and they're all doing fascinating things. Hello Earth is a book about Earth on a big scale, about shifting continents, fiery volcanoes, lush jungles, and sandy deserts, about how we orbit the sun and how the moon orbits us, shining down on us with its silvery light. I'm a person who spends a lot of time outside. I walk in the woods every day with my dog, Watson, looking, listening, and smelling the earth around me, watching the seasons change, finding small, amazing things to wonder about. Nothing thrills me more than feeling a deep connection to the natural world which is why this book seemed so important for me to write. Hello Earth began in an unusual way, however. Usually books start as an idea in the author's head. That's how it was with my other books. I would write down my ideas and then the illustrator would create a whole beautiful world to go along with them. This book was different. One day I got an email from a publisher I'd never worked with before, Erdman's Books for Young Readers. Editor Kathleen Murs had seen some beautiful illustrations published in another country, and she thought American readers would really love these illustrations. She had a proposal for me. Rather than translate the text, she wanted me to create completely new poems to go with these illustrations. Wow, I'd never done that before. I wasn't sure if I could or even if I wanted to. Could I take someone else's vision and make it my own? I began poring over Mirren's rich folk style art. The pictures called to me as did the brave, curious children in them. I longed to hear their voices. Maybe I could tell the story from their point of view. So I began to read all about the earth and to research things like earthquakes and ocean tides and all the complex systems that make up this remarkable planet of ours. I learned a lot but I found that the more I learned, the more questions I had. Does that ever happen to you that you have more and more and more questions? Eventually I realized, what if we could ask the earth itself all of our questions? And I knew that then I had the voice for this book. Hello earth, it's your children, some of your children, the human ones. We have been studying you, Earth, but we long to learn more. We want to ask you a few questions. We want to tell you our dreams and wishes. Can you hear us, Earth? Floating. Earth, we've seen pictures of you floating in space, circling the sun with your brothers and sisters. From far away, you look so perfect. But Earth, we are standing right on top of you. How can we be here, 
climbing trees, walking paths, staring up at constellations, and also out in deepest space. Does that mean that each of us is floating among the stars? Hello Earth is a book about how amazing the Earth really is, but it's also about how Earth is the perfect home for us and all the plants and animals that live here, how it has everything we really need, and how we humans must do our part to honor it. In the back of this book, there's a section that has lots more information about how the Earth works, plus links to ways you can help keep Earth's environment healthy and become a citizen scientist asking questions of your own. You might wonder if the Earth ever answers any of our questions. Well, the truth is, it does, but not in the way you might think. Read Hello Earth, Poems to Our Planet to find out how. Maybe you'll be inspired to write a poem to the Earth yourself. A big thank you to Erdman's Books for Young Readers for inviting me to write this book, and to Mirren Laura for inspiring me with her beautiful illustrations. And most of all, thanks to you, my readers, for being here today, listening to me, and sharing my thoughts about Hello Earth. Bye-bye.